Shot to help you out, we have here Acme Bugnet has just now intercepted this phone conversation between Robo Crook and Carmen San Diego. Listen up. Go south of Israel along the Red Sea. I want you to head for Mecca. It's the Arab city where Mohammed was born. Clarify, who is Mohammed? You tinhead. He's the founder of Islam, one of the biggest religions in the world. Stop outside of the city, though. You can't enter if you're not Muslim. Acknowledged. When do I arrive? In the Islamic year of 1412. Isn't that 579 years ago? No. In Mecca, it's right now. Okay, gumshoes, name the country. Is it Jordan, Syria, or Saudi Arabia? Remember the clues that we heard from the Acme Bugnet, south of Israel, along Red Sea, Mecca, and Arab City. Laura, we'll start with you. What do you say? I picked Syria. Syria. What do you think, Matt? I picked Syria. Syria. How about you, Elliot? I chose Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. What, you're not sure about that answer? Well, the answer we're looking for is Saudi Arabia. Nice job, Elliot. Okay. Surprised him, too. Okay, now it looks like we have a detective duo. Listen up, guys. Okay, gumshoes. You want to know where that crook went? Well, usually I'd charge about five bucks for this info, but since it's public television, I'll give it to you for free. He's way, 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 way out in the South Pacific Ocean on an island that legally belongs to Chile. This island's only 46 square miles around. <laughs> I've been in phone booths bigger than that. But here's the weird part. On this island, the 20-ton stone that uh, the crook's hauling around is small potatoes because over there, they've got these gigantic heads. That's right, heads carved out of stone and weighing up to 50 tons. That's 100,000 pounds a head. Woo! <laughs> we don't know exactly how they built them, but ancient civilizations must have built them. And I'm not making this up. Big heads, big heads, like this. <laughs> okay, gumshoes, name the Pacific Island. Galapagos, Pitcairn Island, Easter Island. Remember the clues that we heard, South Pacific? belongs to Chile and gigantic stone sculptures. Okay, Laura, what do you say? Okay, I picked the Easter Island. Easter Island. What do you think, Matt? I picked Pitcairn Island. Pitcairn Island. What do you think, Elliot? I, pick, I, I chose Pitcairn Island. Pitcairn Island. The answer we're looking for is Easter Island. Nice job, Laura. Take step 10. Okay, so that means, Laura, you have 80. Matt, you have 75. Elliot, you have 95. Nice way to play the game. Now, bad news, gumshoes. Uh, we didn't get any... Oh, no, that's my upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. I'm sick of your noise. He went here. He went there. Look on the South Pacific island of Awa, just west of the international dateline, for goodness sakes. It's close to Samoa. Now go get him and stop making such a racket. <laughs> Isn't she a sweetheart, huh? Okay, now remember... This nation that we're talking about is also just west of the Dateline, and it's the second country that ushers in a new day every day. Name the island group. Is it the Kingdom of Tonga, Papua New Guinea, or New Caledonia? Remember the clues that we heard, South Pacific, west of International Dateline, and near Samoa. And Laura's ready. Okay, Laura, what do you say? I, put, I picked Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Matt? I picked New Caledonia. New Caledonia. Elliot? I chose Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. The answer we're looking for is Kingdom of Tonga. Sorry, dumb shoes, so nobody's going to give anything on that. So that's okay, though. Laura, you have 80. Matt, you have 75. Elliot, you have 95. That's the way this needs to be done. So keep on the trail. Keep on trying. And uh, we're going to get ready now for our last and final clue of this round. Here's how this works. This means now it's time for you to make a decision. You can decide now how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. Now, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Robo is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, you don't want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at this and think about it. <laughs> Okay, everybody ready? Have your risks selected? All right. Oh, wow. Sounds like our next clue is already beginning out here in the street. Let's take a look. Whoa! Whoa! This is 4689.
the year of the sheep. I am a symbol of the new year. Robo Crook went to a Cantonese restaurant where he ordered a dish made from snake and cat meat called Fighting Dragons and Tigers. Oh, that's great. That's tremendous. Thank you. I like this neighborhood. All right, gumshoes, name the Chinese province. Is it Guangdong, Hunan, or Jakarta? And remember the things that we heard from out here in the street. Cantonese restaurant, dish called Fighting Dragons and Tigers, and Year of the Sheep. Matt, we're going to start with you. You have 70 Acme Crime Buck. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 10. He risked 10. That means if you get this, this one right, you'll take second place. What do you say? I chose Hunan. Hunan. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the answer we're looking for. Okay, Laura, you have 80 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked zero Crime Bucks. Zero. That means either way, you stay at 80. What'd you say? I picked Guangdong. Guangdong is exactly what we're looking for. Nice job. You stay there at 80. <laughs> Elliot, you're in the lead right now with 95. Let's find out, though, how much did you risk? I risked 20 20. Crime bucks. Okay, so let's see now. Here What's I your answer? Guangdong. Guangdong, nice job. <laughs> That means Elliot and Laura, you're going on to the next round. Matt, listen, you're a great detective, man. Had some great stuff, but your luck just ran out today. We have put together a very special kit for you today, though. It's going to help you in your next kit. Case. Chief? Matt, it's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit. And it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. Thanks for all your good work on the case. And Matt, I salute you. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, Laura and Elliot, it's now time for you to go on and try to find Robo. We're going to try to go on to Kwong Dung and find it. But I want you to know we don't have our agents go out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? All right. Here's the lowdown on Kwong Dung's capital city. Now... If you want to blend in, don't go around calling it Canton. Now, the Portuguese made up that name. The Chinese have called it Kwangshu for 1,700 years. Now, the boys down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides for you. First, the Flower Pagoda. It's the oldest and the tallest in the city, and from the outside, it looks like it has nine stories, but from the inside, it's 17. Next, Scope out Sun Yat-sen's Memorial Hall. Now, it's dedicated to the revolutionary leader, and it seats 4,000. There's plenty of room for Robo to hide. The mausoleum of the 72 martyrs who died in an uprising against the Xing dynasty. Now, you recognize the figure in the background? It's a replica of the Statue of Liberty. And last, Yushu Park. It's the biggest park in town, and it's a perfect place to hide a 25-ton calendar. Now, you know, my uncle Barstow, he was in the calendar business. Yeah, well, he was a nice guy, but his calendars weren't very accurate. <laughs> well, you know, one day uh, he created a calendar for one year that had no Wednesdays. Every week had six days. It really confused the heck out of people. I mean, people were celebrating New Year's on November 9th. So the next year, Bosto made up for it. He made a calendar with two Wednesdays a week. There was Wednesday and Wednesday B. All right, gumshoes, that's Canton. Go there, Robo Crook and the calendar are there. Move out. <laughs> Let's go. Here we are, right here in Kwan Dung. Sit down, your suitcases here. Take a seat right over there, if you will. Please, let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you'll be able to find Robo, the loot, and a warrant for Robo's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to find is the loot. That's the evidence you need in order to get a warrant. Once you get the warrant, then you can arrest the crook. Now, if you get all three of those in that order, in a single turn, then you win a chance to try to get Carmen San Diego. If you catch Carmen San Diego, then you get that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Now, one more thing. You can pick any location you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the crook, or the warrant, then you get a free turn, okay? Elliot, you were in the lead the last time. Once you start. 